ഗുഡ് ഈവനിങ് അസോസിയേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഫിഷറീസ് ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റിന്റെ വെബിനാർ സീരീസ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള അക്വാ ടോക്കിലേക്ക് എല്ലാവരെയും സ്വാഗതം ചെയ്യുകയാണ് ഇന്ന് നമുക്ക് നമ്മുടെ ഒപ്പം അക്വാ ടോക്കില് നമ്മുടെ അതിഥിയായിട്ടുള്ളത് ഡോക്ടർ സുരേഷ് കുമാർ സാറാണ് സുരേഷ് സാർ കേരള യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി ഓഫ് ഫിഷറീസ് ആൻഡ് ഓഷ്യൻ സ്റ്റഡീസിലെ ബയോളജിക്കൽ ഓഷനോഗ്രഫി പ്രൊഫസറും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഓഷ്യൻ സയൻസ് ആൻഡ് ടെക്നോളജിയിലെ നിലവിലെ ഡീനുമാണ് അദ്ദേഹം അദ്ദേഹത്തെ കൂടുതൽ ഒരു പരിചയപ്പെടുത്തലിന്റെ ആവശ്യമുണ്ട് എന്ന് തോന്നുന്നില്ല കഴിഞ്ഞ ഇരുപത്തഞ്ച് വർഷക്കാലമായിട്ട് സമുദ്ര മേഖലയുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട് ഗവേഷണവും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ അധ്യാപനവും എല്ലാം ചെയ്തു വരുന്ന ഒരു വ്യക്തിയാണ് ഡോക്ടർ സുരേഷ് സാർ അദ്ദേഹം ആ ഓഷൻ പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് നമ്മുടെ പടിഞ്ഞാറൻ തീയ പ്രദേശത്തെ പ്ലാന്റിൻ പ്രൊഡക്ടിവിറ്റി അതുപോലെ തന്നെ അതിനെ സഹായിക്കുന്ന ഘടകങ്ങൾ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ജൈവ വൈവിധ്യം എന്നീ മേഖലയിലാണ് അദ്ദേഹം കൂടുതലായിട്ട് ഗവേഷണം നടത്തുന്നത് കൂടാതെ അദ്ദേഹത്തിന്റെ ഇഷ്ട ഗവേഷണ മേഖല എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് പവിഴപ്പുറ്റുകളും അവയുടെ വൈവിധ്യം അവയുടെ പാരിസ്ഥിതികമായിട്ടുള്ള പ്രാധാന്യം എന്നീ വിഷയങ്ങളിലെല്ലാമാണ് നമ്മുടെ ഡോക്ടർ സുരേഷ് സാർ ഗവേഷണം നടത്തി പോരുന്നത് ഏകദേശം അമ്പതോളം ദേശീയ അന്തർദേശീയ ജേണലുകൾ അദ്ദേഹത്തിന്റെ ഗവേഷണം ഇതിനോടകം തന്നെ പ്രസിദ്ധീകരിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് കുറെ നാളുകളായിട്ട് അദ്ദേഹം ലക്ഷദ്വീപ് അല്ലെ പവിഴപ്പുറ്റും അതിന്റെ ജൈവ വൈവിധ്യം കാലാവസ്ഥയിൽ വരുന്ന വ്യതിയാനം ജൈവ നമ്മുടെ പവിഴപ്പുറ്റുകളെ എങ്ങനെ ബാധിക്കുന്നു എന്നുള്ള ഗവേഷണങ്ങളിലെല്ലാം സജീവമായ സൗണ്ടും നമ്മുടെ കോറലുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട ജൈവ കോറലിലെ ജൈവ വൈവിധ്യവുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട കാര്യങ്ങൾ സംസാരിക്കാനായിട്ട് എന്ത് എന്തുകൊണ്ടും അനുയോജ്യനായിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു വ്യക്തിയാണ് നമുക്ക് നിലവിച്ചിട്ടുള്ളത് സുരേഷ് സാറിന് ഇന്നത്തെ അക്വാ ടോക്ക് നയിക്കുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് വളരെയധികം സ്നേഹപൂർവ്വം ആ സഹർഷം ആ സ്വാഗതം ചെയ്യുകയാണ് ക്ഷണിച്ചു കൊള്ളുകയാണ് സാർ പ്ലീസ് താങ്ക് യു റിയാസ് നൈസ് ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഗുഡ് വേർഡ്സ് Yes, sir. So today I would like to talk on uh, this biodiversity of coral reefs. Uh, many of my students are working in that particular field. That's why uh, I am uh, very familiar with uh, all this uh, biodiversity. So before uh, going to the biodiversity uh, studies, one should read this particular book. compilation by venkatraman sir this is uh, by zoological survey of india and uh, we can uh, see that uh, this is a bibliography and checklist of coral and a coral reef associated organism uh, here in this particular uh, book uh, they have quoted 3263 publications on indian coral reefs and uh, its associated organism this is published in 2004 now it uh, it counts about 7000 but uh, this is the basic uh, thing what we need to follow and we can see 185 pages of scientific names of organism listed in this particular book so uh, that much of enormous uh, biodiversity uh, lakshadweep as well as andaman uh, then uh, gulf of mannar as well as uh, run of catch that area uh, all the uh, area indian coral reefs are studied by this uh, uh, venkatraman sir and uh, he published uh, records in uh, zoological uh, this uh, this is a publication of uh, zoological survey of india it is available and uh, one should uh, go through this particular thing to get an idea about the coral reef and its biodiversity first hmm? so coming to the uh, lakshadweep we can see uh, the lakshadweep here to the uh, indian ocean and we can see lakshadweep initially before that uh, north of lakshadweep there is a submerged part which is uh, called as basa deep petro which is a which have some 3000 square kilometer size uh, area and uh, we can see maldives after that we can see maldives and here it is chagos island so lakshadweep this is called as lakshadweep chagos uh, oceanic ridge uh, this is uh, actually these are uh, mounds uh, see uh, mound uh, mountains uh, mountain like hill like structures are coming out from the uh, 1500 meter to 4000 meters and from that area it mounts up to 
300 meter depth. From there, coral reefs are emerges. So we can see that only uh, some uh, we have 36 islands in this uh, system with uh, some 15 atolls, and uh, we can see uh, some of the islands are matured and some of the islands are immature or uh, uh, development of uh, this. Uh, islands are uh, taking place. We can see that. So these are the uh, these are uh, this Bengaran group of island is now uh, just coming to the inhabitation. Uh, earlier this was in uh, this was with uh, uh, some hotel groups, but now it is uh, free for um, uh, in inhabitation. And uh, we can see Suheli is also uninhabited islands. We are, we are conducting all our uh, studies in Kavarati, Agati, Bitra, Chetalat, Kiltan, Kalpeni, Minikoi, Adamat, Androth, Amini. Along with uh, that are the inhabited islands. That means people are there. But in uh, case Suheli, uh, some of the islands are there uh, where there is no inhabitants. So we are conducting a uh, um, survey in that particular region also. So this is the general structure of uh, a lecture deep island. We can see, uh, I told you that uh, from uh, 3,300 3, meters, the corals are emerging like a cup. We can see that uh, here, uh, this is a reef front. That means uh, here, uh, here uh, the uh, reef. Uh, can you see the point? No. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, yes, this, sir, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Point is. You can see. You can see. Okay, okay. Yes, this uh, uh, this uh, region is a reef front. So we can see this is a lagoon area, and we can see uh, slowly sand is accreted here, and uh, uh, plant or uh, plants are coming, and as well as it become uh, some uh, reso uh, reservoir of uh, fresh water inside that particular thing, so that we can inhabit it. So this is the general structure of a uh, um, general structure of uh, the uh, island of Lakshadweep. So this is another island. Agati, we can see the air strip here. See air strip here. This is uh, the gateway to the uh, Lakshadweep because only one uh, air uh, airport is there. Uh, this is the closer view of that airport only. We can see if we are uh, going by flight, we can see that um, uh, we are landing in the sea like that. We can see. So next is, uh, this is Androth Island. This is considered as a mature island because there is no lagoon. Nothing is there. Entire uh, uh, that area is uh, formed to a, a land area. So no lagoon like that. This is the structure of uh, Androth Island. Uh, uh, this is a different island. So we have some in uninhab un uninhabited islands like the Parli, which is in Bangaram group, then Suheli. So we can see here uh, only this much uh, small portion is uh, developed into land and uh, some uh, plants came uh, there because uh, there is uh, no water or we cannot uh, stay there for a long. Uh, again, Suheli have a very large, very large lagoon. I will show once more, once again, that uh, table with the lagoon area. You can see a very large lagoon area with a very small. Uh, here also we are going and conducting some survey for that. Then Perimal Park, another uh, island which is uninhabited, but in uh, high tide it will it will sink or water will uh, overflow in this particular area, Perimal Park. We are going with uh, this uh, 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 sleeping bags and tents to stay there. Otherwise, uh, there is nothing. Uh, in night time, uh, there is uh, crabs or something like crawl to our uh, place. So uh, this is not good for uh, staying and all that thing. Then one island is there exclusively for uh, birds. That is Pitti. Piti Island. Here also we are conducting some uh, uh, survey in the lagoon area or in, in the coral reef area of that particular thing. So we are associating with uh, these much of projects. A long time monitoring of coral reefs that is running by Dr. Idris Babu who was now it is. Now he is the scientist there in 
uh, Department of Science and Technology, Union Director of Lakshadweep. Then one coral restoration tech, um, project is also running. Uh, uh, that's also I am uh, associating with the Dr. Idris Babu. Then molecular taxonomy and digital cataloging, uh, that is a project sanctioned to me by uh, DST. Along with that, PhD programs funded by UGC, CSIR, and COFOS are going on uh, uh, as a part of this particular thing. OK, we will discuss that later. OK, so what we are, we are, going, we are doing there is we have put uh, some uh, 253, uh, 253 transects in different islands. And we are uh, using line intercept transect as well as belt transect, transect uh, for quantifying the uh, biodiversity. At the same time, we are uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, actually what we are doing is uh, one, uh, we are uh, laying one transect and uh, on that transect we are counting. Uh, line intercept means uh, what all things are there in that, uh, in that transect we are counting. And in belt transect also, uh, we can, uh, uh, on both sides, uh, five meter, uh, we are uh, counting and uh, simming. Along with time uh, simming, then visual sensors, and picking, photography, herbarium collection, everything we are doing on the document for documenting this uh, biodiversity. So uh, for uh, uh, assessing the biodiversity in different uh, regions, we are classifying the area into intermediate lagoon, then inner reef slope, reef, reef front, then outer reef flat. Like that, uh, we have classifying this. Uh, these are the photographs. Reef and outer reef flat, outer reef drop, like that, uh, we are classifying and uh, studying, uh, putting uh, transects and uh, counting and uh, assessing the biodiversity. These are the techniques. So, the first study uh, uh, was by Dr. Idris Babu uh, uh, on uh, butterfly fishes. When we started butterfly fishes, these are uh, common fishes and all studies are over like that. Okay, Ashini, please switch on uh, uh, Ashini, please mute your. Uh, okay, so when we started the study on butterfly fishes, all people told that uh, it is over and uh, nothing is there. But uh, if we could uh, go deep into the uh, lecture, the waters, we could see that a lot of uh, fishes are there. So we could. Uh, um, a report the occurrence of ketodon andamanensis, uh, decusatus, then catatismesis, then like that, uh, interrupter uh, and uh, uh, ketodon lineata. This much uh, species we could uh, report for the first time from uh, lecture deep. So, so we thought that uh, we, should, we should uh, work uh, in depth in each of this group, then only we can uh, bring out the biodiversity. So our work on uh, biodiversity, we have uh, compiled 851 species of uh, fishes from Lakshadweep. And uh, recently in 2021, uh, Zoological Survey uh, provided a, uh, provided a, actually, uh, Zoological Survey of India provided a, a checklist with uh, 14 species. Now, uh, after one, one collection, intensive exploration is over and we could, uh, we could collect 90 new records to the lecture deep and uh, in addition to the existing thing, we could uh, uh, do this much of uh, work on that particular thing and uh, we are, uh, that is under publication and uh, we are uh, specifying on this butterfly fishes, Kitodondide, that work is over by Dr. Idris Babu. Then Arasas, Labrida is also, we are working on that particular thing. Uh, one uh, one uh, the fellow is doing his post uh, doctoral, uh, doctoral work on that particular thing, uh, Arasas. Then uh, eels, one, uh, one fellow started work on eels. Then uh, surgeon fishes, Acanthurus. One uh, fellow completed his PhD, uh, about to finish PhD right now. Then trigger fish, Ballistidae, that group is also studied. Then uh, Poma candidate, uh, angelfish. The, the, these are the group uh, under uh, which we are studying. Uh, this is a uh, yield. Uh, 
see this uh, boy, uh, son of uh, Dr. Idris Babu, Aziz, is feeding the fishes. Uh, so uh, most of my students are from Lakshadweep. Uh, that's why we can uh, do a lot of work like this. And uh, see, he is uh, trying to touch fish. Are reported from uh, lecture group. Uh, para uh, Phenacoscorpius adenensis. Uh, this is reported from uh, lecture D. So, uh, these uh, sharks and uh, in, the end? Oh, in which uh, nobody is right now, but uh, somehow people uh, actually NBFGR is were conducting some survey then. Uh, CMLR is working on this particular aspect of biodiversity of Lakshadweep. So somehow this can be documented so. So as a part of molecular taxonomy, we could uh, submit 100 sequences in uh, NCBA of from fishes, Cytochrome oxidase 1 alone. And uh, some uh, 60 species, which uh, we have some confusion, uh, we are keeping that. Uh, you know, present uh, these all things in the, uh, the NCBA. We have already submitted 100 sequences. So next uh, next area of study is uh, macroalgae, uh, in which uh, my student Shabina, you know, who is sitting and uh, collecting the macroalgae, uh, is working on this particular uh, group, and we, uh, we can see that. Uh, Earlier, 153 species of microalgae were re reported from this particular uh, islands, but uh, in uh, by intensive uh, collection, we could collect only 65 species records. That means uh, due to some activities or uh, some grazing by turtle or something like that, uh, it is uh, uh, this uh, diversity is reducing or some of the species which is uh, moving out of the uh, uh, this thing, and we could uh, record uh, eight species of seagrass, and uh, all these sixty-five species are kept in the herbarium and kept in the museum. So anybody, anybody who is doing work on this uh, seaweeds can very well go to this particular uh, museum and uh, have can uh, watch or uh, uh, examine this herbarium for corrections and all that thing. And uh, this 65 species, we have the herbarium collection. So again, uh, that uh, other group is mangrove. Eight species of mangroves are reported from uh, lecture deep. We can see mangroves in uh, as a patch, mangrove ecosystem. Some uh, patch uh, in lecture deep, it reached up to 36 percentage. And uh, we can see after uh, uh, massive bleaching, it comes around 20, uh, 26 or 27. Then uh, it is hanging around uh, slowly, that is uh, coming up. This is the status of uh, um, uh, live coral coverage in like uh, Not this much, but uh, damage is there. Again, uh, Oki also have a tremendous uh, damage on Oki, the cyclone, have a tremendous uh, uh, impact on this particular coral reef, but it is it was uh, on the eastern side. So eastern side, uh, there is no lagoon, so there is not much damage in that particular area. The damage is there, but we are uh, not at all uh, bothered about that particular damage due to cyclone. Okay. So these are the uh, some uh, uh, coral species normally seen in, uh, seeing in this particular uh, region. Acropora, both the Acropora, then Platygera, Goniopora, then uh, Pavona, then uh, Turbinaria. These are the uh, these are some of the common. Uh, then Acropora, then Isopora, then Hydnopora, uh, Hydnophora. Then uh, now these are uh, common uh, common uh, species. Heliopora, Acropora, like that. Uh, some coral uh, common coral is available in lecture deep. Then uh, one one more student of mine is working on a soft coral. Uh, uh, she identified a lot of uh, things, and we have uh, document started documenting some 18 species we got. Um, uh, this uh, belong to three families. See, these are the soft corals available in uh, lobophyton, then sacrophyton, uh, dendrophytia, and uh, 
like that uh, some species are there it is very difficult so my students are there uh, recently we got uh, this much of photographs and uh, uh, we are identifying all these uh, soft corals then the uh, next group is sponges we can see 103 species of uh, sponges in uh, lakshadweep and uh, 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 we are uh, documenting that again uh, these uh, sponges are uh, good for uh, bioactive compounds and uh, many people are working uh, on this particular group for uh, um, uh, for uh, documenting we could document 103 species from lakshadweep then uh, next is um, sea anemones a wide variety of uh, this is a tentacle uh, sea anemone macrodactyla uh, this is uh, during uh, when uh, the light uh, goes or light dims, it uh, retreats uh, the entire tentacles to its body. This is a retreating stage of same uh, same colony of uh, this thing during uh, evening. Uh, sea anemones are there. Then uh, sea fans, other uh, group, a uh, lot of gorgonians uh, on which we are not at all working on this particular group. One fellow from uh, Kufos is working on uh, gorgonians, but um, I don't know he, whether uh, he has some collection from uh, Lakshadi, but uh, he is working uh, in the entire Indian coast. Then uh, crustacean, again, uh, crustaceans also least studied group from uh, Lakshadi. Uh, we have, we could enlist, or we cannot collect, we could, uh, we could enlist uh, 162 species from Lakshadi, uh, which includes shrimps, lobsters, crabs, and stomatopods. Again, uh, that is a very good uh, um, uh, area to explore because uh, th this particular organism have very good function in them. So we, uh, this is one of the important findings we have uh, did. Uh, Palinurellus vinaki, that's a furry lobster, uh, which is uh, reported only in a few numbers. We could identify this and uh, publish in uh, Journal of Threatened Taxa. Well, we can see that only two, uh, two two species which uh, occurrence, very, very rare occurrence. So we could uh, publish this uh, and identify this particular uh, species. Another uh, group of uh, organism, worms, which is uh, least studied. We can see a lot of uh, this particular, I will show you the picture. You see a lot of uh, these organisms are there, uh, Christmas tree worms. On coral borders, on live coral borders, we can see a lot of Christmas tree worms, uh, which are uh, which are very common. Is also we can we are we are not uh, working on this particular organism, but uh, there are a lot of uh, different different species are there. So next group is mollusca. We could see that uh, some uh, 778 species of mollusks are there in uh, uh, Lakshadweep. Uh, uh, some of the species which we could uh, uh, collect and uh, uh, deposit in the meat. Uh, some uh, one, uh, one uh, uh, Ravinesh from um, Bijugumas group is working on this particular thing and uh, uh, he can complete that work, I think. One uh, from uh, Deepakarte also working on this particular mollusks. And he uh, basically is an expert in uh, giant clam, but uh, he, he identified two, three species uh, or um, uh, identified or erected uh, two, three species from Lakshadweep. Uh, the group contain octopus, then uh, tridacna, uh, la, uh, giant clams like this, then uh, cypria. A large number of organisms are there. Uh, uh, mollusk, which uh, uh, the next group is nudibranchs. This is also least studied from uh, Lakshadi, but uh, now uh, NBFGR is uh, documenting, I think. Uh, Dr. Rajit Kumar's group is working on nudibranchs and all that. And earlier, uh, Dr. Debakapte was also working on uh, nudibranchs. Uh, um, actually, we have uh, identified some uh, 23 species from of nudibranchs and uh, we recorded it. Uh, photographic records are there on uh, on this particular group of uh, organism. Then uh, we are uh, more concentrating on uh, echinoderms. 
Mr. Navshad, Mohammed Navshad B is working on this particular group of organism. And uh, earlier in 2016-17, we could uh, document uh, 61 species, uh, its occurrence uh, from uh, 10 islands. And now we have a collection of 119 sp uh, species of uh, uh, echinoderms. Uh, these are uh, uh, some uh, crinoids, then starfish, uh, sea urchin, then uh, sea cucumber. This is uh, again sea urchin. This is uh, crown of thorn, acanthaster. So this much where diversity is there, and we could uh, identify the variation in the community structure. We can see that here, uh, outer reef slope and outer reef flat are distinct in the community structure of um, uh, echinoderms, but. Uh, uh, sea cucumbers, but uh, we can see that uh, all these have uh, uh, some uh, in uh, um, some mixing because uh, the community structure in inner lagoon, inter, uh, intermediate lagoon, and inner lagoon, intermediate lagoon, and intertidal area are similar as well as uh, the outer reef flat and outer reef, uh, reef slope are uh, different. See, this is uh, one of the uh, sea cucumbers, PS Noturiography. Uh, which is uh, recorded for by us. Then uh, shallow water crinoids we published in Suta Aksa. Uh, actually, only four uh, crinoids were reported from Lakshadweep. We could identify we could identify the uh, six more reports or six more uh, species from uh, this. But our total now ten uh, ten uh, species of uh, crinoids are available and recorded from Lakshadweep. Uh, all these species are uh, deposited in Zoological Survey of India, Western Ghats region. So anybody can go and um, examine the species. This is uh, a phenogenia, uh, a crinoid, uh, recorded from uh, Lakshadweep. Again, uh, Navshad is again working on the sea stars. Uh, we identified Nardova Freanti for the first time, recorded for the first time. Uh, from Lakshadweep, and it is published in uh, Journal of Marine Biological Association of India. Then uh, another field we are uh, concentrating is um, uh, symbionts, mic microsymbionts associated with uh, these crinoids. Uh, Mariam DPC is working, uh, who's doing PhD on that particular thing. We could identify nine species, and uh, we have published uh, this polynoid scale web. Paradite crinoidicola from uh, lecture deep waters. Uh, it's a symbiont on uh, crinoid. We published this, and uh, uh, this is identified by um, Tamer Britaya, a scientist from Russia. And this again, uh, uh, Mariam B's collection of uh, two associated crabs, Permanotus purpureum and uh, Tyramidon spinosum. Uh, which is identified by Peter Negi, and uh, this is also published. Uh, uh, published. So next group of interest is uh, reptiles, and we have we could uh, document only four species from uh, this particular uh, island system. This is uh, green turtle, and this is hawkbill turtle, and uh, these are things are ident identified. And uh, along with our work, uh, there is some rescue on uh, uh, rescue of these uh, turtles are also going on because uh, this is a ghost ghost uh, net uh, which is discarded uh, we are there, we are uh, recline or we are taking that out and we are cutting the uh, uh, releasing this uh, turtle from the uh, net uh, that's uh, that of uh, that kind of work is also going on along with our survey again uh, two species of um, Snakes, yellow sea snake and uh, yellow bellied sea snake, we could uh, identify from the bycatches and all that thing. We cannot uh, insist in our collection and all that thing, but by bycatch and as well as stranding, we can see uh, sea snakes. Uh, the two sea snakes are there in Lakshadweep. Then uh, uh, this uh, group is uh, 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 what we call marine mammals. We could identify 16 species of marine mammals, 
uh, from uh, Lakshadweep waters. Uh, this is spinning dolphin as well as botulinus dolphin. Both uh, uh, you know, some uh, um, uh, 16 species of marine mammals are there. These are uh, the uh, regarding the uh, biodiversity and uh, marine taxonomy reference library, uh, library is, uh, laboratory is there and a uh, museum is also there for uh, keeping all the collections uh, in intact form. Uh, so uh, when uh, if you are if you have some doubts on uh, species, we can very well uh, go to this collection and uh, we can examine that again and again. Along with that, uh, we are keeping a very good uh, uh, that is actually Department of Science and Technology lecture deep is keeping uh, all these species. Uh, we could uh, collect uh, some 350 fishes also. Uh, the entire fishes we could not collect, but uh, uh, 360 species of fishes we are we are kept data documented in this particular. Group. This uh, this is all about uh, the diversity of uh, our intervention to the diversity. Then uh, again, uh, one of the interesting thing what we are uh, doing there in Lakshadweep is uh, restoration of coral reefs. See, we can see uh, uh, we cannot imagine these uh, coral reef which we planted and grown and uh, it form a, just a ecosystem i will show you some of the see what we are doing is a uh, bone cutter and fix it on a, a concrete block again uh, that concrete blocks are uh, fixed on uh, the nets uh, we are keeping like this and uh, this is the growing stage we can see uh, it is growing uh, and uh, we are measuring, we are periodically going there, clear. Uh, if, if we are keeping this on the bottom due to siltation, that will die. That is why we are keeping this on a uh, platform. Uh, uh, this is steel platform. And, uh, and we are uh, uh, um, uh, cleaning every day. Uh, every week we are going and cleaning it uh, like that. Uh, uh, it will grow. And uh, it will grow like this, very large colonies. And uh, we have uh, assessed uh, the growth of uh, this transplanted coral that is missing. Uh, this is uh, Formosa. He had a severe uh, heating of this uh, orchid. And we have uh, basal information on uh, our transects we uh, covered in that area, eastern side. So we went there and uh, took the data and published this how that impact on different uh, geomorphologic structures of electricity. So these are our, uh, these are our things only I would like to convey. This is my team. This is uh, Abdul Riyaz who is working on coral. This is Mohammed Naushad working on um, echinoderms. This is Mariambi working on uh, uh, crinoid associated organisms. This is uh, Dr. Idris Babu, my former PhD student who took PhD and uh, now he is a scientist in uh, Lakshadweep. These three fellows are doing PhD with me. These are uh, diving assistants and dive masters with us. This is my new team. Uh, right now they are in Lakshadweep, uh, Mr. Uh, Chinmay Kar, then uh, Nayana, then Shabina. She is from Lakshadweep. She is uh, working on micro microbiology and uh, this is uh, Minu. Uh, this team also working on Lakshadweep. So we can have some more discussion in this particular aspects if you need some more clarification. Thank you. Okay, anyone have any doubt related to this topic? Please ask freely. Sir will uh, respond. Uh, Please ask. Okay, this is the area of uh, the lagoon area. I forget to go back to the. Uh, this is uh, Suheli, which is a very large lagoon area, but uh, there is no land. Uh, Andhrath, we have no lagoon. Amini is again maturing uh, a very uh, small lagoon, Kiltan. All, all small uh, lagoons. Uh, this is uh, the thing. Sir, 
good afternoon or maybe good evening rather than here good evening uh, yeah, <laughs> i just have a doubt uh, i understand that most of these corals are not uh, not permitted to be commercialized it is uh, listed Hmm. but is like that uh, any species because a lot of uh, species are there any species is uh, having permission to be commercialized or the still there is no change in that no there is no commercialization on this coral reef but uh, we can uh, do one thing we uh, this acropora uh, we can very well uh, raise so we can uh, permit uh, this particular uh, culture on a, on okay. a licensed manner to lecture the people uh, then uh, it can be a uh, um, avenue for income generation and all that thing but uh, uh, we should have a very close uh, uh, very close observation monitoring on on this particular aspect because all still, these uh, uh, are scheduled so we cannot collect it okay trade is not permitted right sir no uh, no collection is not permitted uh we are collecting and depositing it uh, uh, the specimen samples voucher only we are uh, keep taking and uh, putting in the marine uh, the lab there museum there okay. not taking here okay now i i am just curious whether there is any fresh water body in lakshadweep any stream or something like that because i heard in uh, in in nicobar island there are some streams like that is is it like that no no no, no. Uh, this okay. is a strip of land in which uh, the rain water uh, uh, they are just holding the rain water that's all. there no, is no no island has a stream, stream or something like that okay no island has stream right sir okay okay it's a small uh, only uh, uh, 750 meter to 2 kilometer width and uh, Four to six kilometer length, only a strip of land. There is no uh, no hills, uh, some uh, like uh, that in Andaman. Andaman, uh, the uh, the terrain is uh, entirely different. Yes, yes. So Because in the... Nicobar Islands, I heard like uh, three or four streams are there. Streams are there. Ah, streams are there in most of. Ah, uh, that's a large area. That's yes. a continuation from uh, actually that is not a uh, coral coral islands. only fringing okay. reefs are there here okay. there is atolls the mound will come only up to 300 meter below the sea level and uh, only corals are coming up okay okay thank you sir oh, okay any other question please uh, excuse me sir uh, i am uh, meera Okay. Uh, Postdoc fellow from uh, Kufu itself. Uh, I had to add up uh, one thing. Like once, uh, once uh, in lecture we went to Bangaram Island. Uh, Bangaram. Uh, in that island only we saw a small. Uh, we can't tell it is a pond or something like a small uh, a ditch. I don't know how to explain that area. There was a small pond. Let us say it a small, very small area. There was. fresh water there and some algae was there so we collected that uh, water and we tasted it but there was no salt so i assume that it was fresh water but i don't know how that happened maybe because of some rain and all yes actually Could you collect some fish from it yeah yeah Could you collect fresh water fish also you collect some there. fresh nine nine no, no, no. nine uh, species of fresh water fishes we collected but that all things are introduced this guppy molly like that but uh, regarding this uh, fresh water actually uh, inside that coral uh, rain water stores and uh, we could see that uh, even uh, it is um, heard that when a uh, god fell in one well it uh, came up to the other well because all these are continuous fresh water in uh, kaverathi in one island uh, that is uh, uh, kaverathi uh, for uh, kaverathi for uh, uh, in that uh, region it is just like a uh, uh, cup or something like that rain water stores there and we are uh, ditching well to get the water from there a lot of uh, well are there uh, so in, uh, anything is there a uh, lot of fresh water uh, is there but uh, all are uh, uh, this hard water type okay ranjit sir please please ask uh, Uh, thank you sir sir for a very uh, elaborative and wonderful presentation 
uh, I just had one question, which uh, I could have asked you tomorrow also, but uh, just because the group is so big, uh, I just wanted to share it in this group. The first thing is that, uh, as you are aware, Niti Aayog is bringing out some ecotourism plans in uh, uh, in Lakshadi Islands, and uh, your biodiversity data, uh, how well can that uh, modify the Niti Aayog's plan uh, of this ecotourism, which it presumes to build in the form of Maldi Islands? Uh, would that uh, can your data or the information that you, uh, your team has collected uh, corroborate with uh, uh, with protection of for the coral reefs? Uh, otherwise, which uh, we presume that uh, the, the projects in Lake Shudip might uh, torpedo. So, how how well uh, that can be substantiated? Can you just put lights on that? Actually, if we are constructing that uh, particular thing or anything in that coral reef. If any damage, any siltation happen in that particular region, all the live coral coverage will uh, finish. If the live coral coverage is below 10 percentage, we can, uh, that um, island cannot exist. It will wash away. Only because of this particular thing, it is uh, there. So the live coral, as well as associated organism, corals are there only because fishes are there. And uh, these two are uh, mutually benefited. Fishes uh, which graze on uh, these coral, uh, this thing, coral boulders provide substratum for the attachment of coral. So herbivorous fishes should be there. Then a lot of uh, recycling of corals are there by parrot fishes. Uh, then uh, for uh, the weathering, parrot fishes are a must in that particular environment. Uh, likewise, we need a lot uh, this particular system as such. If uh, we are constructing uh, something and uh, keeping the fishes away or uh, affecting the coral, uh, live coral, that will be, uh, that uh, cannot be recommended. Again, uh, this biodiversity, uh, due to this biodiversity, uh, large biodiversity document, document, these all things are there. And uh, these all things have functions in ecosystem. This we need to uh, appraise the politicians for uh, taking decisions uh, like this. Anyway, if uh, suppose an EVIO or some environmental more clearing committee appears, uh, the, if uh, the scientists are there, they will uh, raise their voice uh, this particular uh, for this particular thing. But uh, uh, finally, uh, the sound of politician came above this particular thing and uh, these are vanishing. What is, uh, that is what happening in anywhere. Uh, Lakshadip also going to be, a, uh, going to uh, uh, do like that again. In Bengaram, uh, such one or two islands like this, uh, we can uh, uh, do, we can uh, do uh, something like that. Uh, 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 tourism or one not uh, if it is Bengaram that is close to Agathe Island airship we can uh, we can give Bengaram as such. Uh, do, uh, they are planning for uh, this development in all the islands I feel. But uh, in one or two islands if they are concentrating if uh, uh, something happened uh, let it go. We can uh, show that also. That, uh, that type of uh, decisions we can uh, suggest. We can tell that all things, but uh, uh, biodiversity documentation is a very important thing, and uh, we can uh, we can uh, actually we are preparing a catalog, uh, full catalog of organism with all photographs, uh, field photographs as well as live photographs. Then uh, we can uh, provide it to the policy makers for this particular uh, to against uh, this particular thing for construction. Yeah. Anyway, any eco-friendly, any eco-friendly um, this thing happen, uh, the uh, the eco-friendly will be there in the name only. Nobody will uh, form, uh, nobody will follow the things. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Hello, sir. Uh, sir, this is a question YouTube live from okay. Divya Care. Shall I read? Uh, no problem, read. Can we isolate edible compounds from coral? That's the question. 
Uh, actually, uh, we can uh, do some work on uh, this particular uh, bioactive compounds. But uh, we should uh, have a very close, uh, uh, very close observation of uh, this particular thing. Then only we can uh, start. Actually, uh, one bioactive compound is isolated from gastropods because that shell of uh, the closing shell of that never have this algal uh, attachment. So they identified an organ, uh, this uh, compound which is working against that particular thing. In uh, such case, uh, after identifying that particular thing, we can uh, do do we can uh, adopting combinatorial chemistry. We can very well uh, very well uh, manufacture or synthesize it in the laboratory. We can leave the organism. Likewise, the corals. If you are finding something like that. After uh, finding some corals, uh, uh, finding some bioactive compounds from the corals, we can very well uh, do uh, this all uh, active uh, synthesis in from uh, our from our laboratory, and we can also manufacture it. We can leave the corals. So for that particular thing, we can we should try. First thing uh, we have to observe it, and uh, we should have some idea. Uh, uh, actually, for uh, withstanding pressure, uh, pressure for withstanding pressure, uh, this organism uh, may create uh, some organ, some compounds. May, some uh, not this, uh, uh, not this um, what we call coral. Any organism may create some compounds to withstand pressure. If we are identifying that particular thing, and we can, if we are. Uh, Conducting some studies on uh, or, uh, human beings to reduce pressure, blood pressure. We can very well uh, use that uh, in clinic after clinical time. We can make it as a uh, compound for human purposes. Uh, in such cases, what uh, normally what we are doing is uh, organic chemists can synthesize. Organic chemi uh, chemists can synthesize this particular uh, or, uh, compound and uh, commercialize it. Okay, okay. Uh, I feel uh, I have uh, provided an answer. A code I was, uh, please ask me. Hmm. Sir, and this is Shibi here uh, from Kufu itself. Huh. Uh, I said I just got an attention towards the new plan proposal by the office base of uh, Lakshadweep administration because they are um, uprising the levels of uh, Lakshadweep to the Maladive type. So, so by that, um, by uncontrolling uh, entry of malignities into the Lakshadweep islands, can it uh, affect the biodiversity of Lakshadweep? Ah, that, that uh, sure. Uh, see. Lakshadweep waters will provide everything for uh, Lakshadweep people. If they want fish, they let them uh, harvest the fish and uh, eat. Nothing will happen. Or if they want to construct a house, let them extract boulders from the Lakshadweep and uh, island and uh, let them uh, do that. Or if they want to uh, raise uh, some aquarium, they let them collect and uh, do the things. Nothing will happen. The thing will have what we uh, what happened is uh, once we started commercialization. If we are exporting fish, the entire fish will collect and export. Uh, so we will uh, reduce the population. If we are taking, uh, just keep in mind. If we are um, keeping uh, large fishes with a very large uh, uh, lifespan is there. So. Eight years or ten years, it will mature, and at eight years, it will mature and it become. Uh, reproduction at that stage if you are taking uh, the entire population will vanish so uh, uh, we studied that uh, case selection and all that thing so we should careful we should be careful for the entry of people as well as export from electricity if uh, the fish export just to start a fish export it will finish uh, whatever thing uh, this electricity people need they can take and they can uh, use as much they can, but 
that may not affect the biodiversity but if we are starting exploitation and sending out of the island uh, that will be a problem by uh, uh, just like uh, what dr radhakrishnan asked we can uh, uh, the cmlr is started one work on uh, the uh, what we call uh, this aquaculture or uh, raising of uh, fishes there and exporting uh, we should have a very close monitoring otherwise exporting us uh, this we raised like that uh, we are they are telling this is we raised uh, they can catch a shoal and we can they can export so likewise we if you, we have a very good uh, uh monitoring system we can uh, think of uh, that particular thing again uh, seaweed seaweed culture seaweed culture is again going to be a disaster for the lakshadweep because when uh, seaweeds are uh, culturing uh, the fishes which eats on uh, seaweeds will flourish there when suddenly we will uh, uh, stop this particular thing all that fishes will uh, graze on the seaweed resources of lakshadweep and uh, that will uh, that will perish all that uh, ecosystem what i feel uh, many have uh, some other ideas and like that but uh, why we are uh, collecting or using lakshadweep for uh, these activities they can very well uh, sustain on tourism and uh, they are responsible tourism they have enough to show to others they can uh, improve or uh, they can uh, provide tourist uh, things uh, or uh, tourism based uh, economy they can very well uh, start that is my opinion uh, that may not be uh, opinion from an lender or uh, some other people who are there in uh, uh, in commercial thing Uh, some questions are there in the chat box i think and else uh, the lakshadweep's uh, fragile lagoon survive the infrastructure development uh, it is difficult i don't think uh, just like maldives we cannot adopt the things there here the uh, as i show these are things are just in a starting stage these all islands are in starting stage and um, so so uh, we cannot uh, do anything like this am, so how uh, the my... environmental assessment report um have you had a look at the environmental assessment report which is giving permissions for this infrastructure what will happen to the islanders and the islands which are proposed i mean the fringing reefs and the lagoons and those breeding fish are at stake what is your comment uh, see if if you are uh, i have not gone through that uh, i am not specifically talking on that uh, infrastructure development they are planning uh, in this lakshadweep uh, in a general view Uh, some scientists are there in that uh, group and uh, they are suggesting uh, suggesting something i am not specifying it should not be done here or you should do that uh, you should not do like that nothing is there some scientists are uh, suggested something and uh, it is uh, uh, their voice is uh, subsided by the voice of others so that could not be happened that is my thing whatever uh, i don't know i have i have not uh, looked into that uh, status uh, reports uh, we are just uh, documenting and publishing the things uh, now we will uh, provide a good uh, digital catalog uh, by the meantime uh, we are developing a website on uh, lakshadweep biota uh, it is just raised and we are uh, putting the information in that particular uh, site so that uh, that will be very nice for uh, people to understand what is biodiversity and uh, along with that we will provide barcodes like uh, a sequence uh, information for uh, scientists who are working in that particular field thank you sir hmm.
sir uh, one more uh, some questions uh, half half is mohammad uh, other uh, if other trees move forward with the coral reef tourism what will be your suggestion to decrease environmental impact in a minimum way uh, that is uh, we can uh, uh, we can very well uh, uh, tell a tourist to certain area because bangaram is earlier used for uh, this tourism alone so we can uh, very well uh, tell them to restrict to certain area and uh, we can uh, study that if uh, uh, suppose we, we cannot uh, tell that will uh, distract uh, the entire thing we have experience in uh, um, uh, south eastern countries coral reefs all thing uh, gone then uh, only because of the restrictions in entry and all that thing lakshadweep have uh, this pristine type of thing if uh, we are open that um, and, uh, sure there is uh, impact on that particular thing for keeping it minimum we can uh, tell them to do the things in um, restricted area uh, just like uh, bangaram island or some islands in a, some island we can very well uh, start this thing we can, we cannot uh, ob object uh, the developments if the people of lakshadweep uh, want we can uh, suggest uh, for uh, with the minimum impact uh, uh, that all things uh, we need to study yes uh, uh, some Badi. people please the hands bad uh, please sir uh, are yes uh, good question sir Uh, so thank you for the wonderful presentation and uh, your answers were very well articulated. It was very good. So, since we are talking about the the atoll lagoon villas and the development which are happening there, I'd like to add like few very few points. Since we are like talking about these things, so unless Lakshadweep can never be like Maldives because like in Maldives there are like some thousand plus islands and some one thirty like some one eighty species uh, islands are inhabited. So we can do tourism anywhere, like like some thousand islands are there. But in Lakshadweep, it's like only ten islands which are inhabited. And if, in my view, like whatever happens in the lagoon system will ultimately reflect on the island inhabitability and the the bio security of the islands. Because it's so we've been working on the ecology of like different things in Lakshadweep, like so from coral reefs to sea turtles. This is very closely connected. If anything happens to one thing, which reflects on the other things for sure, like within a few years of time. So that's one thing, and that's one di dimension of it. The other thing is, uh, actually, people are very closely related to the islands, lagoons, and uh, all these lake systems because they live. They have very few resources there. So it's more of a cultural thing, and like. As well as the ecological things, so the two dimensions for this. It's whatever happens will definitely reflect on these two sides because it's yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, what you call this very, what you told is very yeah important. As far as Maldives is uh, concerned, a lot of islands are there. Only thing, Lakshadweep means uh, name. Only have that Laksham. No, only thirty six islands are there. Not in Laksham Islands, but only one thing we can uh, suggest is uh, there is submerged parts. Uh, if we are looking at the uh, lagoon area of Lakshadweep, it it come around four uh, hundred to five hundred square kilometers lagoon area. But uh, if we are looking at the submerged uh, submerged parts, it, uh, it uh, have some area of uh, some three thousand kilometers, some six fold. so biodiversity of that particular uh, area or a submerged part support this island that linking we need to establish what, what is the linking of or how the fishes or the organisms are traveling from submerged parts to the island if we are not blocking that particular thing we can very well uh, suggest uh, the development because Uh, that is what just uh, what we are uh, doing the cage culture cage culture means we are uh, doing uh, the practice in a particular area and utilizing the entire water body if there is a regular uh, transmittance of organism 
or a transfer of organism from that submerged past to the island. Uh, or uh, some large fishes are coming for breeding like that. If we could establish that particular thing, we can very well go for whatever you did here. Uh, after two, after uh, some time, it will uh, replenish. Like that, we can suggest, but we don't have any idea about that. Part. I asked to a foreign uh, collaborator who is working on a mapping of this particular thing, but. Uh, they told if it is uh, below 60 meters, they cannot have any um, machinery to check uh, the biodiversity and all that. Al Badush is raised and. Uh, yeah, so another thing about this developmental activities is the availability of fresh water there. So, Bitra is the smallest lagoon, smallest island in Lakshmi, which is inhabited. But on the other side, Suheli is like much, much bigger than. Many other inhabited areas, but there is no fresh water. There. If large scale tourism comes in, so tourism, I'm not against tourism or any of this development activities. So what I'm saying is, so we've started seeing the changes. So I've been working in Lakshadweep since 2016. So, past five years, I've, I've been seeing changes in my eyes. Uh, like you said, uh, the, the export of fishes and things like that are already happening there. So. We've been monitoring a group, group of spawning aggregations in Bitra. So we've been seeing around 80% uh, reduction in the number of female reproductive age female fishes in past five years. Like that, the uh, change is like very visible. It's not going to happen in another 50 years. It's happening right now. So freshwater is one big issue. One potential tourism development or whatever development is the community oriented kind of tourism actually has a, a very distinct culture and uh, lifestyle which is worth exploring if you go and see them go and see them see their culture art forms go dive with them all these things which there is an opportunity for that than doing all these uh, new things which are going to come up thank you Brothers, uh, don't think in a small way. They will uh, develop all the infrastructure for um, fresh water, desalination plants, everything uh, they can bring. Uh, tourism is uh, not a small thing. Uh, what we are thinking about just a responsible tourism. People or few people are coming and uh, seeing whatever we have, uh, not like that. They have ample. Uh, funding for this particular thing and they will develop their own desalination plants and the generators everything uh, they can uh, very well uh, establish for this particular thing uh, the fresh water may not be a limiting factor as far as uh, this tourism is concerned we can uh, we have a similar experience in many many places uh, just uh, just think about uh, the sundarbans Entire uh, this thing is um, utilized for uh, tourism, but uh, this uh, we cannot compare these all things. But in um, uh, but in the case of uh, Middle East, they are uh, just uh, transplanting all the corals in an area where they are planning to develop. All the live corals they are transplanting to another uh, station, and they are, they have funds for the, all these things. So uh, that type of um, interventions we need to think about, think uh, in terms of uh, uh, think if they are adamantly coming for uh, uh, this uh, particular uh, projects. I think and the was hand raised. Please ask if you have any question. And too. Uh, Badush uh, told that uh, it is Lakshadi believed to be a part of Aravalli mountain range, uh, but it is proved that uh, volcanic mountains are ranging from Lakshadi to Chagos. Uh, it can be. Uh, what I uh, told is uh, just a uh, uh, former hypothesis. Uh, this uh, again, uh, other mid oceanic ridges there, very close to Lakshadi, but mid oceanic ridges there. Uh, 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 passing through the Seychelles region. So there, uh, there uh, the volcanic activities are there. Uh, 
this uh, may be uh, some activity may be there. Generally, this mounts will form volcanic or uh, some tectonic or uh, something like that. Uh, yes, sir. So, uh, <coughs> Darwin has proposed something about the adult formation cycle long back. But oh, yes, yes. We proved that it's luxury and like, luxury Maldives, Chagos are only sense as a part of uh, continuous volcanic drift, as you said. So, uh, as per the, like, when the tectonic movement happened, the, the volcanoes were dead and they were submerged underwater. The coral started growing up. Then the, that's how the islands formed. Yes. From uh, 300 meters onwards, these corals have started growing. Okay, sir. Some questions are in the chat box, sir. Uh, one question is asked by Jessalyn Peter. Sir, is there any scope of farming economically lucrative seaweed species there? Ah, they started um, Gracilaria and Capaficus. They started some uh, experiments. Uh, but I don't know how far uh, it will uh, it will withstand because uh, because of these problems. If we are uh, culturing that uh, seaweeds, normally the population of seaweed uh, eating organism will increase. Then after when uh, after a ten or five or six times uh, the population increases, that um, culture may not be a uh, uh, economically viable one. Then we will stop that. Uh, immediately we will stop that. Uh, then uh, these uh, fishes, where they will uh, going to eat, uh, come to lagoon and start eating away all the uh, seaweeds present in there. These particular seaweeds are very important uh, as far as um, uh, the uh, providing shelter and food for the young ones. Many organisms have uh, these young ones are uh, sheltered in this particular uh, seaweeds uh, or seagrass area, and um, uh, chances are there. So uh, we should take care on uh, all this aspect. We are, what we what we will do if uh, they uh, suddenly stop every activity? That all things we should uh, keep in mind. That's all. Okay, sir. Another question asked by L.C. Gabriel. Can Lakshadweep's fragile lagoon survive the oh, that, infrastructure? Uh, that, uh, that we addressed. Uh, uh, that we uh, oh. that we told. Ah, then she has been What is uh, she have? What happened? She have. Yes, sir. Sir. Good. Uh, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. I heard actually this kapapacha is very uh, dangerous for the corals. So why they are introduced this kapapacha to in Lakshadweep, sir? Actually, recently some medias I have seen many videos regarding this kapapacha is still uh, it is starting for uh, negative impact of this corals and more than 26 publications also have uh, in India this kapapacha is dangerous for corals. Oh, I, I, I don't know the correct impact of kapapacha on uh, this particular coral reefs, but uh, anything. Uh, if we are introducing a new thing to the system, uh, 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 there is there is some impact on uh, some of these uh, particular uh, impact on this particular uh, corals. So uh, we should take care of uh, this particular thing when we are uh, culturing, start culturing. We should be careful. If, uh, there is earlier there is a plan for uh, cage culture. There is a plan for cage culture. Cage, anyway, in, uh, produce a large number of silt, large quantity of silt that will uh, create. Normally, if you are looking at the bottom uh, soil of that um, cages, that uh, nothing will be there. No organism will be there. That silt will be there. If uh, that silt, uh, by some waves or currents, it will move to the coral reefs, the entire coral will uh, die off. Chances are there. That food particle, what we are introducing into the cage and fecal matter, everything, if that all uh, contribute to the silt. So uh, we should be careful um, uh, the, about the uh, uh, water movements. It should, um, that all things should uh, move away from the island. The, that position, everything we need to identify. 
some question in chat box okay uh, sahab ah uh, yes uh, regarding this uh, ornamental fish culture and sport there is one question regarding the ornamental fish ah uh, ornamental fish ah uh, oh, actually in ornamental fish culture uh, in agathi they have uh, constructed a very large hatchery for this particular thing the aim was to just uh, um uh, uh, we, we need to identify the best fishes for uh, commercial uh, exploitation so then we can take that root stock from lakshadweep and uh, raise it there and that ingredients we can uh, export that was a very nice idea initially but uh, uh, due to some technical snag or something it had to have not happened in a good manner actually that uh, or uh, large companies something uh, uh, came and uh, they did uh, 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 everything uh, they are uh, doing without much studies some people some consultant like uh, people coming and telling oh this uh, we can uh, tell this if we are looking at the um, this uh, project proposal of aquaculture uh, it is very lucrative well, it's a very return is within 3 uh, months or 4 months like that they will uh, write and uh, the uh, these all people will uh, come fund then uh, finally it won't work the, the that's a common practice in aquaculture so i don't know what happened to this particular thing but uh, very good hatchery is there some a lot of animal fishes animal everything is there in agathi island but uh, breeding and uh, sending uh, these same ones are not not happened in, uh, in the, that way they envisaged uh sent we can uh, we can propose a lot of things like that uh, just like what we did for this coral uh, uh, suppose uh, that uh, corals on that slabs we can export uh, that uh, we can very well tell this uh, we uh, produce ourselves like that uh, we can very well uh, tell uh, sell all these things Sir, is there any biodiversity impact assessment done in Lakshadi? Impact assessment. Likewise, uh, an impact assessment uh, right now. One impact assessment is done on uh, laying of cables. From uh, uh, underground underwater cables are laying uh, in uh, between islands for uh, internet and all that thing, optical cables. For that, one impact assessment did. NCSCM and uh, NSS are conducting a lot of are conducting lot of uh, impact assessment uh, type of things. Everything uh, we should need a biodiversity database. That is what I created. We are uh, if uh, somebody need impact yes. assessment for uh, uh, for specific purposes, it is doing. They are doing. Uh, yes, the question by uh, Abarna Suresh. Uh, no, uh, not uh, not much. We have not identified any invasive species. Uh, actually uh, whatever there is not re uh, uh, recorded we we are getting uh, that fishes uh, regarding uh, that uh, butterfly fishes everybody told to me so it works are there on uh, some sporadic uh, collection from by uh, cosat is there not a very good documentation then phytoplankton one uh, geetu uh, submitted thesis in cofos Uh, regarding phytoplankton from uh, minico yellow so that uh, that's copies there then regarding fishes scorpion fishes uh, that uh, that all things documentation then epine phelus uh, one uh, fellow from ncs ncf uh, started work and uh, uh, working on uh, she is working on uh, breeding and all that thing i don't know the specific documentation is there then lettinus uh, lujanus Uh, then alfits nobody is working uh, then uh, regarding crabs we need to explore more because we identified a lot of things uh, then when arathi asked for uh, sponges uh, sponges also just uh, started collecting some sponges so we have uh, documented some 103 species from uh, lakshadweep uh, it is there uh, any large quantity of uh, large number of diversity of sponges are there and biomass is also there so sponge working on uh, sponges uh, nobody works worked on sponges one uh, one fellow started 
some work on sponges and uh, that is just started that so sir one question by ramsha ali ah this is just that lexity be reclaimed ah while comparing to diversity before el nino hmm. which was happened in late 90s um that i have no idea we don't know of um, before uh, this uh, uh, before this starting of that uh, lakshadweep monitoring program coral reef monitoring program by lakshadweep um, um uh, department of science and technology only few studies of by research scholars were done all the research scholars were from uh, mainland so they will come over there uh, did some work on a particular species after that uh, they are uh, coming back then nobody is there to continue in uh, that that is the basic thing where uh, this um, department of science and technology started working so they are uh, they started uh, working initially wafers are from um, uh, uh, nio started that work and uh, they are continuing right now also they are continuing if, uh, even if without uh, um, uh, some funding problems are there for monitoring anyway uh, we, we we have uh, that 20 years of data uh, that baseline information we have on coral diversity al badu shastra sampa Badush. I was uh, going to add one point on that. Uh, after the Elino events, so there's multiple Elino events are happening in Lakshadweep uh, and coral bleaching events are happening. Like, late 1980 it happened and like it's happening every uh, now and then now. So, uh, yes, you're telling about one study about on group first. No? So that's continuing and one other, the same girl, Rucha Karkare was working on the group of behavior so we have been observed that so there are changes in some fish behaviors so groupers are primarily uh, ambush predators so so they should need a lot of structures like coral structures so once the structures have gone they started chasing so these kind of things we have observed in action not the biodiversity changes these kind of changes are there yeah that's a nice information anyway if we are uh, disturbing the corals not the corals uh, the entire system will go just like groupers uh, what happened in the forest uh, we can uh, see the same thing there also so there is a question by hafish muhammad regarding tourism expansion in lakshadweep how will affect the environment of lecture deep that is yes uh, i am uh, talking about that particular thing uh, for the last one, uh, one hour see if uh, responsible tourism uh, that means if uh, somebody coming to learn something about or see what is there in lecture deep we can very well uh, accommodate them and uh, we can uh, show them the things and we can, they will go the other thing the, for luxury people are coming just like uh, coming and staying in uh, taj hotel coming come out there and staying there without any concern of luxury that that we need to address uh, that's the main thing uh, if uh, somebody have some concern on luxury coming over or luxury they won't do any harm to the ecosystem so if people uh, should be uh, educated we cannot uh, tell uh, or use that word but we should have a um, uh, tourist with the responsible responsibilities as well as uh, we should have uh, uh, to show uh, uh, the traditions of uh, lakshadweep as responsible to us then uh, the system uh, now also tourists are coming every in a ship they are coming uh, all the day they are staying in the uh, island and uh, evening they are back to the ship and uh, they are going to next island like that things are happening but uh, if they are staying they are uh, generating waste 
then uh, that may be a problem okay so hope all most all the questions are covered huh. right or 7:30 Ah, uh, last seven, eight o'clock. Eight thirty, eight thirty, eight thirty. Okay, okay. Uh, I stopped a bit earlier for interaction. I think uh, only in interaction people will get something. Riyaska, hello. Okay, if I have no question, uh, we can conclude. I think. Okay. Sir, very informative uh, and the uh, interactive uh, talk. <laughs> So, on behalf of the association, I invite Mr. Munir to deliver the vote of thanks. Please. Munir? Hello. Munir, what is it for you? I'm here, sir. Good afternoon. Okay. So. Thank you very much, sir. I'm very much interested to thank you because this was a very, very interesting session. Both the presentation as well as the discussion. We have 45 minutes of presentation as well as 45 minutes of uh, discussion. So very nice comments are coming in the chat box also. On behalf of the Association of Fisheries Graduates, we are thanking you for the for your time and preparedness. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, I thank all the participants here attended very well and interacted very well and uh, raised the concerns, questions, and suggestions. And also, I would like to thank the members of Association of Fisheries Graduates behind the screen, monitoring the platforms and arranging the things, brochures, means monitoring the questions, everything. So I am. I would like to thank them also, and finally, thanking everyone here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good night, all.